purpose is to bring attention to the suffering. The battle against mines is being won. We, we, we are clearing far more mines every year than they're being laid, and we're making significant pro progress. A number of countries have declared themselves mine, mine free in the last year, um, Uganda being one, um, and there's a number of countries that are getting very close to that. With the sustained commitment from the international community and, and the donors in particular, um, a lot of countries will become Ottawa compliant in the next three to five years. And definitely focus on. There have been reports of over 50 people injured by explosive devices in Mali in the last, in the last nine months. And there have obviously been a large number of people killed and injured through explosive weaponry in Syria. But we have not been able to put teams on the ground in either place and substantiate if they were actually injured by mines or whether, the, and, and if so, were they new mines or were they just legacy mines from previous conflict? To help in delivery of humanitarian assistance. Eliminating the threat of mines and explosive remnants of war is a crucially important endeavor that advances peace, enables de development, support nations in transition, and saves lives. The United Nations continues to provide one raging assistance to millions of people in Afghanistan, Cambodia, Colombia, Laos, Lebanon, South Sudan, and elsewhere. A uh, uh, legacy of war, which is uh, 